Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Visual Basic tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can create an array of objects. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how you can create individual objects. So let me show you the class that I will be using. This is the same class that I've used in my previous examples. So here I have uh, a couple of members and I am creating properties so that we can access them. And I have a couple of constructors which allow me to work with these. Uh, so this is a simple, very basic setup if you have learned through my previous tutorials or uh, from other sources how to create a class in Visual Basic, then you will understand the constructors and the properties and everything that we have done so far. Now let's get to the point here. Inside the main, this is where I'm planning on creating my array of objects. So basically what we do is we declare the array of objects as a list. And we define that this list is of the type course because that's the name of my class. So I'm telling literally uh, the Visual Basic compiler that I'm creating something somebody called course list. It's a list of type course. Now once I do this, I should be able to add objects of course type to this list. So course list dot add new course. So this would allow me to call the default constructor and I can also call the overloaded constructor uh, by simply passing certain values. Once I'm done with this, let's learn how you can display these objects. So we can write a for each loop which will help me run through this entire list by picking one object at a time. So I will be picking my object as course object from the course list. So it will going to allow me to grab one object at a time from the course list into my object and then I can simply display it by calling console.write line and I can say object dot the property is um, course identification and then I have to have to convert it to type string so I can display it. And this is simply to hold a screen. So let's test this. This is a very simple um, application which allowed me to create three objects, add it to the list, and display a property. And here you can see the three values, 344 and 333 are the ones that I have hard coded. And the 1011 is coming because I called the default constructor and it defaults to that particular value. Now, you can also replace an existing value of a property by simply um, calling the property and giving it a value. What I'm planning on doing, I will going to generate a random value. So I will use randomize. And I will use a loop of similar kind, which would allow me to randomly generate values and convert them to type int values between 1 and 10,001. So this would allow me to randomly generate some course identifications. And the good uh, and, and the benefit of using randomize is I do I will not going to get the same random values every time. If you miss line number four, you will end up getting the same random values. Now all I will going to do next is let me have a blank line so that you know that whatever is happening now rather a couple blank lines and then I will redisplay so that you could see the random values. So what I've just shown you over here lines 14 through 16 is how I can loop through this object uh, this course list grabbing one object at a, at a time and replacing a property of that object with a different value and once you learn this you can just do it with any number of properties. So let's run this again and as you can see in the output here, that the first three values are the ones that were hard coded. And after a couple of empty lines, which are generated because of line number 18, we are now displaying the random values back. So this is how you can create an array of objects in Visual Basic of, of, the, of a class type and work with it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and this is something that you can utilize 
at work or in your classroom or wherever you are applying to learn how to do object-oriented programming in Visual Basic. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.